Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to start the recording here. Um, this is weird. Uh, I've been trying to do this video for almost forever, but it's like level five computer science just to get anything done around here. What I wanted to show was the um, new Oculus Rift hand tracking or Oculus Quest. I'm not in the Rift. Sorry, I'm in the Quest. And we have hand tracking. Look at that. We control the menus, even though I don't have the overlay. Um, I want to show that mixed with the pass-through camera, which I'm actually in right now, but we don't see the overlay. My stationary uh, guardian boundary is over here. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video. It's the end of January. A lot of people have the Oculus Quest for Christmas. A lot of people are still waiting. So according to my YouTube statistics, I can get some small gains in viewers and subscribers and all that by doing more of this Oculus Quest demo content. And I'm not in the mood for thinking it's Monday, I'm off work. <laughs> but let me show you if I can. Can I confirm the Guardian is over there? Or I can, I can change the Guardian with my hands? This is a first. I'm so glad I started recording just then. A controller is required. Okay, so let me get my touch controllers are over here on the bed. Mm-hmm. Left and right hand are mixed up. Normally they would have the augmented reality left and right indicators on there, but they don't right now. So I will continue. We can confirm that is where the floor is. And let's switch to a stationary boundary so I can set it kind of back from my desk a little bit. Confirm. We're in the Winter Lodge. Doctor Who, how appropriate. Stay calm. We may be VR time traveling witches. We just don't know yet. We don't know. I am going to set the settings to use my hands so I can drop the controller. Okay, see? Now I have wonderful hand tracking. But this is the thing pass through the Guardian system. And in that little six inch range, you can start to see the pass through and the hand tracking overlaid on top of each other. So this is where, this is what's really interesting to me. Warning, your app has available updates. Can we just tap on update? No, we can't. You still have to use the, the pinch to select method. So we'll update. <gasps> no, 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 no. I hope I'm not updating Beat Saber. Sorry for being so excited, but updating Beat Saber would break all my custom songs, which I enjoy so much. Anyway, the point of this video is to show the pass-through camera and the hand tracking overlaid. And if you get in the sweet spot just outside the Guardian, you can see that. You can see how that works. It's not exactly perfect, but with a pass through plus uh, depth perception correction, it's freaking phenomenal. It's amazing that this wireless headset, normally wireless, it can do all this wirelessly. It's connected to the PC through the anchor cable right now just so I can record it in OBS, which is a whole other story of computer science. So let's do a nice slow clap. Well, your hands don't track when you clap them. See how it disappears? You cannot actually touch your tracked hands together. I guess they make them fade out. I don't know if that improves um, continuity or why they do chose to do that, but you can't bring your hands together. Probably because they occlude each other. Okay, so it fades out when it's occluded. I see. So this turns out it's not the shorter video, it is the longer video with the pontification. But the main point was I wanted to quick jump in and be like, okay, got it all set up finally. Let's see the pass-through cam mixed with the hand tracking. Can you play a guitar? <laughs> and tracking. That would be weird. You almost can. Look at that. Huh. Wow. Not very well. He can't play very well. Okay, so that's a good video. That's a uh, good fun time. Um, if you're into this, if you are kind of curious or interested, it looks like they switched me back to my controllers somehow. So, um, thumbs up, share it on Reddit, 
I don't always go, oops, I'm starting an experience. I'm going to the store for Doctor Who. I don't want to accidentally purchase that. I'm in the Winter Lodge. But anyway, um, yeah, share this with other people that are interested in this sort of thing. It's, it's, it's interesting. I think Eric for President actually referenced one of my videos where I was showing, you know, the pass-through camera. Uh, I call it AR mode. But now we have, like, this is as close to AR with hand tracking as Oculus Quest gets right now. So I look forward to, like, a more lightweight Oculus Quest 2 with, I don't know if it's going to have um, variable focus lenses in it where they do the micro adjustments uh, so you can focus on things close up and far away. But we need maybe, I don't know if I want eyeball tracking. Eyeball tracking would be cool for some foveated rendering. I'm all slurring my words because I'm just drinking and I'm off work, so. Um, bye. <laughs> so, I'll make you a better video later. Oh, can I stop the video? Can I, I can't reach out and grab my normal screens to stop the video. Um, oh, no, because that's the whole point of computer science. It's like with the anchor cable, I can cast the Quest screen to my computer, but if I choose to use Oculus Link, then I lose, well, because Oculus Link would allow me virtual desktop abilities, but then I lose the ability to cast the pass-through cams. And I really wanted to just, it's this area here where you get the pass-through cam overlaid or the um, pan tracking and the pass-through cam overlay together. This is the forefront, the front line of VR, AR, AI, computer vision research. It's right here. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye now. I have to actually remove the headset because the text is too blurry on my external monitor. Oh, sorry for the commercial for Natty Ice. <laughs> I've been a bad Natty Daddy. Peace.